So 755 day 2, we're looking at solving an equation with an extraneous solution. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to factor denominators if needed. So looking at this example, we notice x minus 3, that's okay, and the x plus 3 is fine here. Then we have x squared minus 9, so that we can factor. So remember that's a difference of two squares. So this is x minus 3 times x plus 3. The next thing you do is you identify the LCD. So looking at all of the denominators here, you have x minus 3 and x plus 3. So our LCD is x minus 3 times x plus 3. The next step is to clear the fraction by multiplying the LCD to each term. So the LCD is x minus 3 times x plus 3, and so I'm going to multiply it to every single term here. And it is over 1, because again, our goal when we do this is that we clear the fraction. So let me go ahead and rewrite everything. So here it is. We have 6 times x minus 3 plus x plus 3 over x minus 3. Then we have 8x squared, and then we multiply the LCD x minus 3 times x plus 3 to the entire uh, term. And then minus 4x times that LCD of x minus 3 times x plus 3 over x plus 3. Now what we can do is cancel out or divide out our common terms. So we can divide out the x minus 3 on the left, and then we can divide out the x minus 3 and the x plus 3. Those are common. And then on the right, we can cancel out the x plus 3. So now look at what's left over. We have 6 times x plus 3 equals 8x squared minus this here, 4x times x minus 3. So when we're solving here, notice that we clear the fraction when we solve, so that way we can solve for x. So now we solve for x. Let's distribute on this side, so this becomes 6x plus 6 times 3 is 18 equals 8x squared minus 4x times x is 4x squared. Then negative 4x times a negative 3 is a positive 12x. And so now let's go ahead and set it equal to 0 because this is a quadratic. So let's combine more like terms. And um, we know that we can combine 8x squared minus 4x squared because they're the same. So let's do that. 6x plus 18 equals 8x squared minus 4x squared. That is going to be a 4x squared. And then we add 12x. So let's move everything to the right side. So let's go ahead and subtract 6x and subtract 18 from both sides to set it equal to 0. So that's 0 and this is 0. So now we have 0 equals 4x squared. Then we have 12x minus 6x is 6x and then minus 18. So now let's take a look at, do we have a GCF? And in this case, yes, we do. We can divide each and every term by 2. So now we have 0 equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. So now we can factor this. And so a is greater than 1. So what we're going to have to use is, let's go ahead and use the x box. If you don't need it anymore, then that's perfect. You can use guess and check, whatever you are most comfortable with. So I'll do this method. If you need it, you can use it, right? It's just a tool for you to help to help you along. So this is 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. So what uh, multiplies to negative 18 that adds to a positive 3. So 6 times 3 is 18, but I need one that's negative. So negative 3. So 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 6 minus 3 is a positive 3. So now we can fill in the box. So 2x squared goes here, so it's from here, and then minus 9. And then these are our factors that go on the side. So 6x minus 3x. Then we multiply. Uh, what multiplies to make 2x squared? That's 2x times x. So 2x goes on the top, x goes on the left. So remember 2x is a factor of 6x. That's why it has to go on top. Then let's finish uh, factoring it. So x times negative 3 is a negative 3x, and 2x times 3 is a positive 6x. 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. So now this factor is 2. 0 equals 2x minus 3 times x plus 3. Then we use zero product property to solve what x equals. So here it's 2x minus 3 equals 0, and over here it's x plus 3 equals 0. So add 3 to both sides, we get 2x equals 3, and then keep on going, divide by 2, oops, 
So we notice that x equals a positive 3 halves. And then here, we subtract 3, we notice that x equals negative 3. So what we need to consider, though, because we're talking about solving an equation with extraneous solutions. And so here, let's take a look at the original. What are we not allowed to have here in the denominator? So the denominator can never be 0. So notice, on this first one, x minus 3, x cannot equal a positive 3, and this is all the same, right? And x cannot equal a negative 3. So our restriction is that x cannot equal 3, x cannot equal negative 3. Now that's important because looking at our solutions here, we got x equals 3 halves and x equals negative 3. Notice that we cannot have negative 3 because that's what we said. If we tried to plug it in, we would get, um, it would be undefined. We get a zero in the denominator, which we're not allowed to have. So therefore, the only solution is x equals 3 halves. And so that could happen. So you could have something where both are the solution, which is true. Both are true. You can get one solution out of two because one doesn't work. You could also get no solution where neither of them work, okay? Or, or the solution that you did get, it doesn't work because it's part of the restriction. So that would be no real solution. Now, number eight, I want you to go ahead and try this out. So pause the video. I have another video that will go ahead and walk through this entire thing. But pause it. I'll put the answer up in just a minute. And then that way you can check to see if it's right. If you need to see it worked out, then watch the next video in order to assist you. So if we tried this out, and maybe you got the, hopefully you got the right answer. And so you would find that x equals negative 3 over 5 and x equals 2. The restriction looking at the beginning is x cannot equal 1. And if you factor this, it also cannot equal a negative 1. And so therefore, it does not um, hit our restrictions here. And so both, uh, for now, are our solutions. Now we could plug this all back in and try to solve, make sure we get a true answer. But for now, let's just focus on whether or not it is one of our restrictions. Now, for if you got that all correct and you feel comfortable and you want to do a little bit extra work, um, a little bit more practice, please do number 7 and number 26, um, and that'll get you more practice to help you out.